Welcome to Breaking News with Haladi News is Ah, uh, in a viral video, fans have reacted to former Empire star Hakim coming out with a new content in his only fan niche. The former Empire star known as Hakim tweeted that he has a new video where he had a maxed man giving him bass balls from the back. If you're one of those people who would like to check out adult content, please view us this video and today's news contains sexual language and may not be suitable for viewers of certain age. So viewers and parental guidance is advised. On the other news, Spice gives her two cents of what she thinks about LGBTQI persons. Spice, the legendary dancehall artist who is known for most of her sexually seductive songs, came out in a recent interview to tell the interviewers and the world that gay people are in every form and in every corner. In that recent interview, Spice was asked, what do you think about the gay culture in Jamaica? And do you think that the culture of Jamaica will change and accept and become accepting of LGBTQIA plus persons? Jamaica and their views of the gay community, it hasn't always been the best. Right. You know, you and you've seen how reggae artists have gotten caught up in this, like mm -hmm. songs like Boom Bye Bye and... Uh, you know, uh, Beanie Man has certain songs and so forth. Do you feel that things are different now than they were 10, 20 years ago? Or do you feel that it just is what it is and it's part of Jamaican culture? They were hypocrite long time, but it's just kind of different now. Right. Because there's obviously gay people in Jamaica. You know, no, there's gay people them, everywhere. They're everywhere. <laughs> they're everywhere. Gay just, people just are everywhere. Just because it's doesn't mean it doesn't happen there. Uh, that just make it make yeah. sense. Everyone that's has what... gay relatives, you know. Everywhere. Most people have gay friends. Everywhere. Everywhere. And then you can't look at someone and also know their sexual preference. Let's exactly. be very clear. Unless they really dramatically, you know, start to wear the wigs and start whatever. <laughs> but you can't just look past somebody and know them sexual preference. So even sometimes your friend in your yard, you don't know who they might have sex with. So all you got to tell me say, you are fighting from Jamaica to come to America because that's all our dream to become internationally known. Mm -hmm. You go go take the people them visa. You come a foreign. You come perform in front of all these these people, this audience. Do you know these people? Are you they your friends? You and them go school. You know who was school. You know all gay. Like make it make sense. Exactly. All of us come here and that's our passion and our dreams to come and become international to perform. And we don't know who, what who sex or LGBTQ come in to pay them money. Come in at this country to come see you right. and you perform. And you don't know who is who. So what you tell me say make it make sense. The maths not maths. Like it don't make sense. I feel like it's hypocrisy. Well, yeah. And you look at for example hip hop. You now have superstar gay rappers like Lil Nas X mm -hmm. you know you have Frank Ocean in the R&B world which yeah. kind of overlaps with hip-hop as well do you ever yeah. see like a superstar gay reggae artist at some point I seen one in Jamaica um recently somebody sent it to me I said hey look at this person I do dance all um I don't see him surviving there's a difference hmm. so not because I'm like I, I don't have a problem with my fans or anyone that is from the LGBT community we still not walk on in a Jamaica and say everybody need to be the person here. So the, the culture itself don't accept them and it is what it is. So I don't see like selectors and DJ playing music or mm. support him because the culture itself, they don't, they don't, they don't love that side. But everybody to each his own. I my own self as Spice, I don't have a problem. I love all of my fans, regardless of your gender, your race. I don't care if you're black, white, Chinese. I don't care where you come from. I don't care your sexual preferences. I love all my fans. So if you're from the LGBTQ community and you're a fan, you're going to get the same love and respect and treatment that I give whether I'm straight fans or whatever because I don't... You're a fan. You're just a fan. I see people for people. I see you as a person. I am black. You are white. I still see you as a man. I don't see you as white or whatever. We're one. That's what I see. We're all one. We're people. Spice responded that she believes that LGBTQ, LG, LGBTQI persons are in every household. Your brother could be gay. Your mother could be gay. Your uncle could be gay. There is somebody that is gay in your household. That was what Spice says. And finally on the news, a trending video of two loving couples seen and shocked by the husband getting and receiving bola from 
behind. So, <laughs> so viewers, before we continue on today's news, I want to thank you for your support for Kiwi Talk and for this brand. Secondly, if you haven't subscribed to Kiwi Talk, this will be a pleasing time for you to subscribe to everyone who is watching us for the first time. Welcome to Kiwi Talk Breaking News Wahala, and my name is Chimerese Henry Ahonaya, and I am your news anchor for to for this episode welcome to breaking news wahala it is just less than a week a trending video of two loving couples who have been trending for their love in short they have love songs their love pictures we are a viral sensation on the internet has been said to be exposed by the one of one of the partner the husband was seen in a recent video collecting bola from the back in short viewers it was so so it was so so degrading and so so embarrassing that the internet in-laws have to give their two cents some says this is unacceptable how can you allow a man how can you allow a trans man give you bola and some people are saying this is hard time that nigerians begin to accept the reality that they are gay persons and they should give them the right to live as queer persons under the federation of nigeria instead of forcing lgbtqi persons to get into marriages where they are not happy to get into marriages where they are sophisticated and still end up leaving their lawfully legged married wife and running out still chasing other lovers so viewers this is the end of the news thank you for watching to this path um updates on abuja area mama we are still asking that you help us with our donation we have a donation of sixteen thousand dollars to raise for the late abuja area mama if i and we can't do this without your help as we and other organizations are liaising and we are in good contact we are on at the table and we are deliberating and we are making sure that abuja area mama deserve one the a good resting place her final resting place she will want to give abuja area mama a celebrity burial we also want to make sure that our lego team have the full capacity to take this matter i started the campaign hashtag abuja area mama hashtag find the killers of abuja area mama so viewers please share this video viewers please share our donation links as our donation will also have a public auditing of all the expenses transfer and expenditure our expenditure will be made known to the general public as this donation we want it to be as transparent as transparency can be there have also been recent event of other donations that are being raised i want to uh, i want to warn the general public that any other donation that is not coming from kiru talk that doesn't have our logos for abuja area mama should be disregarded as abuja area mama only identified with us kiru talk and you can see single-handedly that kiru talk was the only and is the only lgbtq plus organization that let abuja area mama appeared identified shared and sh showed her true alliance to us allegiance to us therefore viewers i'm warning you that any order go for me you see from any other ngos should be strongly disregarded as those Ugly, uh, as those uh, uh, as those go for me are ghosts for me that are fraudulent please the only go for me that kiwi talk is releasing to the public is the go for me that you can find with the link on our description of our views uh, our videos if you do not see the logo of let it shine if you do not see the logo of kiwi talk if you do not see the logo of minority watch if you do not see the logo of obudu Please discard those other go for me. Thank you. I remain Chimeris and Henry Ahonaya. And this has been the news for this episode. Thank you for watching Breaking New Wahala. And peace out.